Hi, shiny people. Rawr. I have been wanting to make a video for a long time about Hungarian paprika. And finally, I mean, like <laughs> a month ago, I finally got a bunch of, well, a bunch of four different kinds of Hungarian paprika. Uh, they're supposed to be authentic. I believe they're authentic because I did do some research about it. It's from the uh, southern part of Hungary. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce any of these Hungarian words because I have a Hungarian friend and I've heard the pronunciation of some of their words <laughs> and I just could not do it. <laughs> okay, so basically we have four varieties. We got hot and smoked, We've got sweet and smoked, we've got hot, and we've got sweet. As you can see from these two, I've already used quite a bit. Uh, this would be the hot and smoked, this would be the sweet and smoked. Uh, you probably can't notice because I, their packages are gone. <laughs> but I can notice because I remember the sweet and smoked was already kind of fold folded. And there's more of it left. So, basically the reason why I wanted to do Hungarian paprika is because it's very not well known in North America, at least. If you buy paprika, it's probably going to come in the form of Spanish smoked paprika, or Spanish paprika. And there is also Mexic Mexican paprika, which I believe, well, I don't believe, but I'm assuming is probably their cheap version of Spanish paprika, and it's just, it's nice, but it's, I'm sorry, it's in superior to Hungarian paprika. <laughs> and if you want, you can look at this brand name. Uh, you can try and look in that brand name. You can get these on Amazon. If you're living in the US, you can get them from pretty cheap. If you're living in Canada, like everything else, they're going to be overpriced. So, <laughs> so I got my mother to buy them who lives in America. <laughs> so anyways, I am going to make sure this spoon is clean because it was previously used on hot sauces. Yes, it is clean. We're going to try a little bit of hot, smoked Hungarian paprika first. Of course. Now, despite the fact that I've already used a lot of this, I haven't actually tasted these on their own. I've always mixed them with things. So I'm curious, but they take... Actually, I have to be careful. I don't want to get paprika on my clothing. Because I bet this stuff will stain pretty hard. In fact, I'm just not even going to... Okay. So, I got about that much. Okay, let's try. Yep. A little bit of a spice to it. The, the hot version of paprika I would say it's not as hot as cayenne powder, but close to, close to the heat spice level of cayenne powder. In fact, I, I really don't want to make this comparison because I hate the pepper I'm about to mention, but I would say that the smoked version is kind of similar to chipotle powder. Except it doesn't really have that terrible aftertaste that I get from Chipotle. Okay, that's hot and smoked. Let us try sweet and smoked, and let's once again pour it away from my clothing so I don't stain. Boop, 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 boop. Almost. Boop, 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 boop. To be honest, I'm not super happy with this company of Hungarian paprika. To me it seems like it lacks a little bit of flavor, but then again I am eating 
just the spice on its own. Spices are not meant to be eaten on their own. They're meant to be mixed with things. So, sweetened and smoked. Yummy. Oh, actually there's a yeah, there, there's a little bit of a smoky aftertaste there, to there that I don't like. I haven't actually, yeah. I, if you eat it on its own, which you shouldn't do, then you're going to get that aftertaste. But if you mix it with foods, I don't think, because I haven't noticed the aftertaste in when it's mixed with things. It just adds a nice... Nice. How would you describe paprika? But then again, how would you describe any spice? Well, basically paprika is made from a dehydrated and ground up pepper. So, a peppery flavory? Hmm. Actually, isn't paprika the Hungarian word for pepper? I could be wrong. And if it is, then maybe it's pronounced paprika. <laughs> Once again, I probably butchered the Hungarian pronunciation. <laughs> Actually, just for kicks, I'm going to try and pronounce these words in Hungary. Oztal... Oztaliu. Okay, Oztaliu. Fuzz... Orlemeneni. A days. Uh, sus, that's sweet, with a butchered pronunciation. Dolce, sladka, actually these are just different, uh, yeah, these are different languages. Okay. Uh, which one would be Hungarian? Possibly sladka? I don't know. Get back to me, Hungarian friend. Tell me if sladka is the correct pronunciation of sweet. Then we have this, uh, mm, this, this bottom word down there. Is that Russian or is that Ukrainian? Uh, I don't think it's Russian, no. I think it's Ukrainian. Or maybe something else. And... This one down there, that looks like Arabic. Yeah, that's that's most likely Arabic. Okay, and this is the sweet version, the unsmoked sweet version. Let's get a nice amount of that. Good thing I'm not doing like a cinnamon or a. Actually, I pronounce it cinnamon. <laughs> I just think cinnamon sounds cuter than cinnamon. All right, so we got our sweet paprika. Hmm. Okay, I actually, yeah. So far, the regular sweet version tastes better than the smoked sweet version. I am going to try and fold this back up and put it in the bag. Cause it's not going to happen, is it? No, it's it's going to spill everywhere if I try and do that. Okay, let's just let's just leave it for now. Uh, okay, we got our hot. We got our hot paprika. And the German, I mean, <laughs> the Hungarian word for hot hot is, um, oh, which one would it be? Would it be scharf? Picant, no, picante, that's, that's Spanish, isn't it? Pesante? I think pisante or picante, that's, that's Spanish. Uh, paliva? Let's, let's pretend that paliva 
is the Hungarian word for hot. <laughs> yeah, let's just pretend. Because there is no freaking way I'm going to be able to pronounce it correctly. There are some languages that I just cannot pronounce. Actually, there's a lot of languages I can't pronounce. I think, like, the languages that have a, uh... Oh, darn it. There's a small hole on the bottom of this package. It's leaking a little bit. That's no good. Okay. Bad company. Bad company. That's a song. Bad company. Who, who made that song? Uh, it's not... Uh, yeah, e nobody cares. Okay. Why am I doing? All right. Do, do, do. So, Hungarian paprika. Baliva. <laughs> it's, it's probably not. Um, you know what? I'm going to think. Let's look at the other package. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so I think sus or sus is sweet. And scharf or scarf or scarf is hot in Hungarian. But it could also be paliva. I, I don't know which language is which on these. Although I do know that those are most like that is Arabic, that is Spanish, that is most likely Ukrainian, and yeah, those two I can't figure out. Okay, so let's try the hot, unsmoked. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So, again, definitely not a pleasant taste if you eat it by itself. But it's definitely flavorful. And I definitely prefer the non-smoked versions, even though the smoked versions are the ones I have opened right now. Well, they're all opened right now, because I had to open them all. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't have uh, Spanish paprika to compare it to. I looked at the grocery store and it's just, it's difficult to tell which is, because everything is labeled as paprika, all right? But, and it doesn't list the country of origin. So it could be Spanish paprika, it could be Mexican paprika, it could be Californian paprika for all I know. So that's why I don't have it to compare. So I'm sorry about that, I only have Hungarian paprika. But I will tell you that I like the Hungarian more than the Spanish. That sounds a little racist once I said it. <laughs> no racism intended. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, that's my Hungarian paprika video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget that you are a shining star. And a hug a femboy today, especially if they're a Hungarian. Bye-bye.